In this video I'm going to look at moles and solutions. So the first thing we better explain is what is a solution? Well a solution is formed when you take something called a solute and you mix it with a solvent and what happens is the solute dissolves in the solvent and forms what's known as a solution. So I'm going to do exactly that. My solute is going to be sodium chloride and my solvent is going to be water. Now the important thing to know is I need to know how many grams of solute I'm using and what volume of solvent I'm putting it into. So I've weighed out 0 0.50 grams of sodium chloride. It's in the beaker now and to that I'm going to add 100 centimetres cubed of water and we are going to dissolve it by stirring it and obviously we're going to form a solution. So obviously what we've made there is a solution of sodium chloride or salty water you might want to think of it as and that's going to have a certain strength isn't it because we've dissolved some sodium chloride into the water. Now chemists don't use the word strength what chemists do is they have a term called concentration. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at how do you measure the concentration of a solution. So you can see on the left there I've defined the term concentration. So that is the amount of solute in moles dissolved per one decimeter cubed of solution. And the units of concentration are moles per decimeter cubed. Now we can tell a lot from these units. So effectively what we can tell from the units is that the concentration, so I'll just call that C, equals the number of moles per decimeter cubed. So what we're going to do is we're going to create the formula triangle that links these three terms together. And remember in the previous two triangles, so that's the mass triangle and the gas triangle, we use a, a lowercase n to represent the amount of moles. So we've got the triangle up in blue there now. So you can see concentration C equals moles, so n, divided by volume V. The most important thing to know about this triangle here is this volume term, it must be in decimeters cubed. So that V term has to be in decimeters cubed. And you can see straight away a common problem with this. Volume is normally expressed in cubic centimeters or milliliters. I don't know if you can make out on the beaker there, this has got milliliters on. Milliliters and centimeters cubed are the same thing. So 100 cm cubed is 100 millilitres, but we can't use this unit in this triangle. And why not? Well, concentration is expressed in moles per decimeter cubed, so we have to convert the volume into dm cubed before we can work out the concentration. So what we're going to do next, we're going to work out the concentration of this sodium chloride solution I made at the start of the video. So if we think about the information we've got so far, we want to calculate the concentration of this solution. Well, what do we know? We know the mass of sodium chloride and we know the volume of water that it's dissolved in. So we've got the volume, but remember we're going to have to convert it into decimeters cubed. We haven't got the number of moles, we've got the mass of sodium chloride. So the first thing we're going to have to do is work out how many moles of sodium chloride this is. So we're going to need to use the mass triangle first. So there's the moles calculation for the sodium chloride. So moles N equals mass over MR. The mass is 0.50 grams. The MR of sodium chloride is 58.5 grams per mole. And so that comes out the three significant figures at 0.00. .00 855 moles. So the moles we've just calculated feeds into the concentration or the solution triangle. 
So the 0.00855 is the N term, so the number of moles, and we're going to divide that by the volume in decimeters cubed. So remember, we were given the volume in cubic centimeters, but in cubic decimeters, you can see there we have to divide by a thousand. And that comes out at a concentration of 0 0.0855 moles per decimeter cubed. So a couple of key terms now. Chemists don't call solutions strong and weak. Chemists call strong solutions concentrated. So in other words, there would be a high number of moles per decimeter cubed. And they call weak solutions dilute. And so there aren't many moles per decimeter cubed of solution. So we'll have a go at this question here. So we'll calculate the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed of the solution that's formed when 6.84 grams of calcium hydroxide is dissolved in 125 centimeters cubed of water. So like we always do, pause, have a go and then see if you get it right. So obviously the first thing we have to do is to work out how many moles of calcium hydroxide we've got and that's calculated using the mass triangle and from the mass triangle we get the number of moles equals the mass over the MR so that's 6.84 divided by 74.1 and the three significant figures that's coming out at 0.0923 moles so the moles of the calcium hydroxide feed into the concentration triangle. Concentration equals the number of moles divided by the volume. So there's the number of moles from the mass triangle. Divided by the volume in decimeters cubed, remember. So we divide the centimeters cubed by 1,000 to get to dm cubed. And that comes out at a concentration of 0.738 moles per decimeter cubed to three significant figures. Now at this point I want to introduce a, a new type of concentration. I'm sure you're ready to cope with this and sometimes you're asked to express the concentration as what we call a mass concentration. So that's the number of grams per decimeter cubed. So if we know the moles per decimeter cubed, how do we convert moles to grams well, we obviously go back to the, the mass triangle and we calculate the mass because we know the moles and obviously we know the MR of calcium hydroxide. So feeding those numbers in, so the mass equals the moles times the MR, so 0.738 times 74.1 gives a mass concentration of 54.7 grams per decimeter cubed. If you can get your head round the, the sort of scaling factor. So this many grams at the start of the question is being dissolved in this amount of water. We've basically scaled that up to, well, how much would need to be dissolved in a thousand centimeters cubed of water to keep the concentration the same. What fraction of a thousand is 125 cm cubed? Well, it's an eighth. So to, if we're going to increase the volume of water by a factor of 8, we need to increase the mass by a factor of 8. And if you multiply 6.84 by 8, guess what? You get 